the lead on fat guys wrestling out there. There's nothing I like more than a sham wow up a fat Asian guy's ass for 40 bucks. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta put this joke down. If everybody keeps communicating through keyboards, uh, it will turn into senior lenses on the Sullivan Show. We'll all be just big hams talking to each other. Another one of my dated references jokes from 60 years ago. Bear with me. It's my only monkey trick. All right, don't put the headphones on. Don't do anything. Chicken Lake Desmond just came in. So uh, it's a little muddy out. And my hum just came in from playing outside. He is so dark. I thought it was a shift change in how green was my valley up at the mines. <laughs> have to get one of those lighted helmets on him. All right, what's up today? Might go see Will Ferrell today. What did I see this weekend? I saw Anvil. Loved it. Documentary about a heavy metal band. You'll love it too. And uh, The Hangover. Have you seen it, Eric? No. I, have, I haven't laughed that hard. I mean, it's so wrong. Really? My Christian friends watching. Be forewarned. <laughs> As wrong as it gets, as funny as it gets, if you can put aside that for a day, but don't go in there and not think you're not going to go. Because <laughs> uh, around 10 minutes in, I was like, what? But then it just convulsed me. I started laughing so hard. All right, what's our back job today? Them. Oh, you. like you. to reference the uh, shoot the attempts. Yeah, this is actually a better film than you would think with James Whitmore about the giant ants. And it was probably one of the best produced of the 50s. Radiation got into the soil and made something big film. The ant one. And when the little girl starts screaming, them, them, it's actually quite creepy. And I'm wondering, is she a young Natalie Wood? Can anybody do a flesh out on that for me? Doug and Marilyn, I'm telling you, this kid resembles a very young Natalie Wood to me. And I'm trying to hook the ages up. If that was in the 50s, how old would young Natalie Wood have been? And nah, I guess she would have been older than that. Kid looks a little like Natalie Wood, though. And we've seen Natalie Wood as a kid in uh, Pocket Full of Miracles or uh, whatever it is, the Santa film, Miracle. She's one of those kids with, on Santa's lap in a department store film. So anyway, it might be her. Probably not, but it looks like her. All right, maybe it was already at that point, get me a Natalie Wood type, even way back when, which is what Hollywood does. Bathrobe Session 73, now in order. And uh, anything new to show you here? Trying to see if we've got any new additions. Uh, no. Buddy Hackett pumps. I don't think people believe me. Come in, zoom in on that. Beautiful. <laughs> Buddy Hackett, the side writes in poetry. He's obviously nude with a bowler hat over his Buddy Hackett dick. And one of my favorite 1970s <laughs> headshots ever. Now imagine me in Vegas after I do my act. This lunatic comes backstage. They say, Buddy Hackett wants to see you. I go, sure. Come back, and he chides me for swearing in my act. This fucking lunatic who threw the word cocksucker around like, like it was nothing in his act. So he writes a, uh, what do you say? This one's called I'm Adjusted. You can see there are little snippets, but he didn't have time to commit to a two-verse poem. I am adjusted, is this one. A smile, a warm look, a soft touch. Happy times can come from such. Cool heads, glad eyes, easy moves. The excitement of learning, steady grooves. Are things I do not want to hamper, but I'd rather give up and just enjoy my temper. Now he wrote this, no doubt, after he excoriated some kitchen help at one of his shows for dropping a plate. <laughs> Mr. Nice. It's always threatening somebody from... <laughs> The Honduras with ex getting them kicked out of the country because they the dared to drop a plate during his act. Right up till that moment, though, Schweitzer like. All right, uh, bathrobe session 73, number what? Let me know. Here. I'm getting old, kids, getting old. Dennis, I am a struggling Catholic. Hmm. I often hear of your Catholic experiences growing up. Pretty, yeah, it was pretty weird. I can remember them showing me a slideshow of hell, telling me a story about a kid knocking their teeth out with a hammer. I always looked at the 23-year-old priest and thought, now what's your deal? Well, I'm 23 guy. I decided not to get laid or make any money for the rest of my life. Anyway, how's that working out? 
even then I could sense you were swimming upstream against some primal rhythms there. So, um, I had nothing but good experiences growing up, mm -hmm. but as of late have had a really hard time rounding up my three children to go to Mass. I have heard of Catholic guilt and I believe this is what I have. I have not heard of that. What, how does that extrapolate to your children? Um, is it possible to celebrate what God has given me and enjoy my family at home? <coughs> well, of course it is. You know, I mean, the church thing, listen, you have to tell your kids that, uh, hmm, I think you can force them to go like, you know, the Catholic God and the Catholic Church is like piano lessons. You can play it any way you want, but if you force those kids to practice every day till they're 16, they're going to drop the piano. So you got to be a little more clever about it. I wouldn't make it a weekly thing, but I'd tell the kids, listen, it's the act, it's like in the therapeutic process when you see a shrink. It's the act of him cutting you off at 10 to the hour that reminds you that it is a therapeutic process. You don't bleed and get messy where it's a real, the, the, this patriarchal figure is your real patriarch. It isn't. It's a guy who's rendering a service. Now, you can love God all you want at home, but I think periodically it is important to remind the kids that when they hit their knees to pray for something, they should kneel because it takes you out of your usual thing. It, it, it reminds you you're being deferential to something you don't quite understand. And you should hit the church, even if it's twice a year for Easter and Christmas, to get up, get dressed, go there, be part of the community. But if you're going to lose the kids and their faith, <coughs> what is this deal? I just almost get something in my throat. If you're going to lose the kids by constantly beating on them about it, not physically, but mentally, and then the moment they don't have to go, they're not going to go, what good? Is that a win? you got to think about winning in life. What can you do to make their kids think of it, your kids think of it as pleasurable when they have their kids and not like, I don't even want to go there. So, if, you know, dial it in a little. It's a recipe. Tweak the spices on it. Take them as often as you can and say, listen, we are going because it's uncomfortable. I don't make you do it every week, but you should go and humble yourself, for God's sakes. You're not the center of the universe. What was that great comedian Judy Toll used to tell my favorite juggler? She said, my problem is um, I think that I'm a piece of shit that the universe revolves around. <laughs> well, it's good to get off yourself and go and pray to a God here and there. So I would say if you can't get the kids into church that much, Ask them to say their prayers once in a while bedside and tell them to hit their knees. I like that thing. I still hit my knees once in a while to remind myself. I still go light a candle. And I'm hardly of deep faith, but I do think it's good to not understand certain things at some point and to just say, if you are out there, and I believe you are, but I can't see you, uh, I'm asking this and this. And don't always make it, I need this, I need that for other people you know, health for other people, stuff like that, so he just doesn't get, oh, it's the me, 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 me guy. But humble yourself, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.